What's going on, everyone? Uh, I'm back. It's been a while. Um, yeah, I guess a decent amount of stuff has happened. Um, you know, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but kind of the reason I didn't make videos was, you know, a couple months ago, I kind of was finishing up school, and I just kind of didn't really record stuff. Uh, you know, didn't have very much time. I was working in school. And basically, because of that, even after school, um, you know, it's summer now, I don't, I don't have school, I still work, but I have a lot more time. But basically, after, like, not filming for a while, I just kind of got used to not filming stuff, and I, you know, didn't really want to film anything. Even when I did do stuff, I just kind of, you know, I didn't want to. <laughs> I know, didn't really want to make a video, didn't want to do the work to, you know, do all that stuff, um, and you know, I kind of thought about it. And I was like, all right, you know what? I want to, I want to get back into this. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to just stop it forever. I want to actually keep getting into this and make videos and, you know, make content that hopefully somebody will enjoy. And I have a decent uh, amount of subscribers. You know, I don't want to just kind of leave it and just forget about it. So I'm back. Um, yeah, a decent amount of stuff has happened. Uh, still have this thing I welded this little bar on. Uh, yeah, I haven't really done anything with this. It runs like shit. Uh, I don't know what it needs. I don't know. Yeah, just kind of sitting here. Uh, the BMW, it's gone. Uh, I sold it. I kept a lot of the stuff. Basically, got all the turbo stuff on, and then... I just didn't even, it just sat there, uh, didn't really do anything with it. <laughs> then a friend offered to buy it uh, without the turbo stuff, so took everything off, basically made it back to stock, sold it to him, and I have all the turbo, the full turbo kit basically over here, you know, intercooler and all the piping and whatever else, turbo, uh, all that, so I still have all that. And the BMW's gone, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I have a spare motor, you know. If you guys, you know, are OG fans from back when I first bought the BMW last July. So I guess I've owned it for, I owned it for about a year if I still had it. But I think it was like last July when I bought it. Um, I got a spare motor and transmission and all that shit. So, yeah, basically I have a bunch of bunch of BMW stuff, all the extra parts that came with it, you know, for the other motor, uh, injectors and intake, and basically almost a full motor, uh, and then the turbo stuff. So, not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I want to buy another BMW sometime, like an E36, or an E30, or an E46, I don't know. I want an E30, but around here in Michigan, if you find one, then it's going to be expensive people just want too much for them for the most part i'll see what i can find for them but just don't have very much money anyways so yeah uh got some snow tires you know from the g uh i guess we'll go into the g now g35 uh there's the y pipe i had a megan racing y pipe on it or megan racing however you say that and the flex joints were leaking really badly and yeah so i took that off and well, I had like oil issues, which turned out just to be a sensor, but I ended up taking the Y pipe off. Uh, I was gonna try to just get rid of the flex joints. I bought exhaust piping stuff, then I kind of thought about it. And I was like, all right, I'm not gonna try welding exhaust with a stick welder. So now I'm just kind of stuck with that until I buy a new welder or borrow someone's or have somebody else weld it. But then I threw the stock Y pipe on, which is pretty rusted, and those flex joints are shot too, which I didn't even realize. I thought they were all right, but they're leaking out of that pretty badly. So, um, yeah, and the we had to cut the bolts at the end of the Y pipe. Like, this is a long time ago. Um, when we were taking this, no, what we were doing, I don't know. But we had to cut the bolts on the Y pipe like a long time ago, like last year or something like that. And I was trying to get them out to put it on to get new bolts for it, but I couldn't because they're all rusted on. So it basically ends at the Y pipe. So it's like, you know, headers, test pipes, and then ends at the Y pipe. 
but I still have the rest of the exhaust on it. It just kind of sits there like that far apart from the Y pipe because I can't bolt it together. So it sounds like shit right now, like really badly because there's exhaust leaks from the flex joints and I just need to get all that figured out. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll show it to you. I did a little bit of work to it. Well, not really anything big, but I painted the front emblem black. So it's kind of all blacked out in the front here. Uh, I don't know if I told you yet, I got new tires for it. They're Eagle F1 uh, asymmetric twos. They're really nice tires, I really like them. Uh, they grip up really good. And I got them used, I got all four of them for 100 and, what was it, $180 or 150 bucks, and they're almost brand new. I guess now I've used them for a while, but yeah. Oh, got a new rear bumper. Uh, just OEM bumper, my other one. Uh, I got re-rended and it was already cracked and stuff, so I got a new bumper. Haven't gotten it painted. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to at this point. You know, maybe eventually. Uh, I plastered up the rear bump or the rear trunk, the rear trunk, uh, the trunk. Uh, so you know, that was. I don't know if you knew the clear coat was all peeling, just like on the roof here. Uh, I want to plastic zip this or wrap it or something. It's really bad there too. The paint is terrible on the whole car. Uh, overall, it's still running. Uh, might as well start off for you really quick. Got the key. I'll show you how amazing this thing sounds. Set the GoPro down. Basically, it sounds like shit. Um, so yeah, it runs, you know. Still my daily. Uh, yeah. I mean, besides that, not too much has happened. Uh, yeah. So, trying to find a BMW maybe to throw this stuff in. Eventually. Besides that. If anybody wants to buy this, you know, I'll, I'll, if you're in Michigan and you come pick it up, anything here, uh, you know, I'll send it to you if you want. I'll give you a good deal on it. Um, anyways, yeah, so this thing, I don't even know, it's just, I hate it. I don't even know if there's gas in it, but, you know, I want to get a carb for it, but I can't, there's literally nothing on the internet about this. It's like some... I don't even know what it is, IRX 50 or something like that. There's just like nothing. I can't even find a carburetor for it. So I don't know. I'm just kind of sitting here for now. Maybe I'll find something to do with it eventually, but it's just kind of a piece of shit. You know, barely runs. It kind of runs actually. It runs for like a little bit, but the choke is always on. So like, I think once it gets warmed up, it starts getting messed up. So I wanted to buy a new carb for it with like a choke that works because the choke is messed up. But, you know, I can't even find a carb, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, if, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll get back into this whole YouTube thing. I mean, you know, sorry I was gone for a while, but, uh, yeah, I guess I'll start filming more of what I do. Uh, I'm not sure what my next project is, but, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. I want to do something with the exhaust on the G35. Cause you know it's 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 pretty shitty. So I don't know. Just stay tuned, I guess. Um, oh, I did sell. I had the catalytic converters for the G, uh, the OEM ones. I got 50 bucks for them. I mean, I don't know how much catalytic converters are worth. I thought I was gonna get more for them, but I just went to my local junkyard, and they said they'll give me 25 bucks for each of them, cause I had two of them. So you know, that's 
not important at all. I just wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> I sold my catalytic converters for 50 bucks. I don't know. Let me know if that's a good deal or not. I don't think it's very good, but I don't really care. So, yeah, anyways, that's basically it. Just got a bunch of junk everywhere. Uh, yeah, so, anyways, thanks for watching. I guess stay tuned. I'll uh, figure out what I'm going to do. I have quite a, uh, not a lot, but I have a, some footage from uh, Grid Life Midwest, the one in uh, the Gingerman Raceway. I don't even know where it is. Uh, South Haven. So if you guys want to see that, I can just make a quick video of all that footage. It's just kind of not like a vlog video or anything, just, you know, raw footage of drifting and time attack. So if you guys want to see that, I'll throw that up probably like five minutes or less. But, you know, I can do that. Uh, yeah, otherwise I'll record some stuff, you know, make some more videos. So stay tuned. See you guys later.